Well, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of The Waystone. Actually getting ahead of myself in terms of recording things, I decided, you know what, I like, I'm really having a fun time playing on The Waystone server, and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go crazy. Ooh, scary. Um, I'm having a pretty dang good time just running around on the Waystone server, and so I decided, you know what, let's get an Elytra. I already have bought these shulker boxes uh, from, I believe, Captain Irony. He has a store where you can buy a shulker box for five diamonds, and I went and got up, got like a 40 diamonds or something like that, and bought a lot of these, and then we... This is now our Silk Touch pick. We've been using Llama Freaks. I returned that with some interest and uh, made, um, got him some, uh, got him his uh, Silk Touch pick back. Uh, and wow, this is going to be terrible. This is going to be just like what we did last time. But I want an Elytra and I don't feel like buying one. Oh, someone's already been out here. All right, we're going this way. Um, so I'm not going to put you through this. I know Bruin Build, we just did this. So if you really are feeling uh, like you should watch me derp around in the end like this, in the end cities, then uh, feel free to go watch that. But it's not all that exciting. So I'm going to get an Elytra, get some more shulker, sh shulker shells uh, so we can have a good complete set. And then uh, we'll pick back up today. And uh, I don't really know what we're going to be doing today. I think we might start crafting out a another um let, let let's i don't know let me think actually let me think before i say what we're gonna do and then have to put another uh little sidebar thing that says brew says um which i wanted to ask did you guys like that like do you like the little things like that because i would love to like incorporate that and make it a little bit more of a thing that we do that we have like little i don't know it doesn't even have to be factual or anything like that it can just be like if i say something and then i don't actually do it it's just an easy way for me to be like oh no i was wrong <laughs> um but thought i'd ask you about that um but yeah let me uh go ahead and get this elytra and then we'll start in with whatever we're actually doing today i will keep the camera rolling for this so that we can um you know, capture any good sweet moments that happen in this exciting adventure we're having. But I do have a story to tell you, or I may save that for Bruin Build actually for this next week. I don't know. I think I'm. A, I'll, I'll save it for Bruin Build. No need to talk about it right now. But I will see you guys whenever we have an Elytra, and uh, yeah. Well, it was quite a bountiful harvest here in the end cities and i gotta say this round went a little better than our <laughs> round in brune build yes i did get a shulker head and yes we are underwater no we're not actually underwater i just made myself the most safe way to afk for a second uh and uh this, this is how it turned out let's 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 get rid of this oh i should probably well, that's flooding everything. Poor Enderman. Oh, uh, yeah, we had such a good harvest. Also, I wanted to note, look how dead these... I, I took all the end stone look, and all the end rods. Look how dead this looks. This seriously looks like it's just, like, dead. It Purple block is not purple unless it's lit up. It's like a dead gray purple. It's really weird. I actually really like the fact that it looks dead, though. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, so this is uh, what we got. And I'll put that in there for why not. Um, we, 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 we did get wangs. We got wangs. And we got the shoulder head. And I'm really happy with it. I really like this little shoulder head. Um, I don't know if uh, we're ever going to wear it, but I like it. Um, but we, So we did get our wings, and that's really good. And uh, this is the shoulder head. And then we got quite a bit of end stone i just got this because i think it's neat i don't know why exactly I, we might use it i don't know uh purper that's just what i managed to pick up when breaking this um but this is the good box we got quite a bit a lot of end rods a lot of end rods and got some iron gold alchemy thingy or brewing stand i guess dragon hand got that 
Um, and then we got some stuff here that I was actually really excited about. We got a diamond sword with sharpness 3, knockback 2, and fire aspect 2. Knockback, not that great, but right now our sword only has sweeping edge and unbreaking 2 and sharpness 3. So we could combine... You can get more than 3 sharpness, right? I think. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't ever use a sword anymore. Um, and then we got this, a fortune 2 pick. Like, that's not bad. Fortune 2 diamond pick. Now we have so many picks. And then this one has Curse of Vanishing. I don't know if you can get rid of that, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can use it to repair. If we can use it to repair, that's great. Uh, diamonds, this is just potion stuff. And then 42 shulker shells. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And the great thing is there's a little portal down there. So we don't even have to go very far to get out of here. So I think that is quite a good haul for the day. Uh, I am going to ride on out of here. Let's see. Let's put you away. See, we have so many picks now. <laughs> so many picks. I'm going to put you away. Ah, no, we don't care about you. Uh, put you and you. And basically, I'm just going to take everything. No, 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 I'm not. Not that. But we will take this you and i'll actually put this back on and yeah we'll just put you in there for now uh we do not need the bow i'm mainly just putting stuff away just in case for some re reason something goes wrong <laughs> that's essentially i will have these in my hand at all times okay very good so let's get on out of here and uh let's see yeah this is my silk touch good very good and since we can just uh fly on out of here look at this this is great uh oh are you freaking kidding me all right well <laughs> very fun awesome possum let's that's why we threw a lot of the stuff into here so this is all nice and safe uh but I'm going to go find that. And uh, we are going to... Yeah, we're going to go find that. Because uh, I want... I want my stuff. I swear, Llama, I will return your armor to you. Oh. Found it. Got the elytra. That's all I care about, man. Got the shield. Got it all. Oh. Oh my gosh. Hey, man. We still got these bad boys. We still got the elytra. Okay, enough derpage. Let's go and build something in our area. All right, guys. So I, uh, I got, I got back as you saw. Got back fine. Finally, <laughs> finally got back. That was some derping around. Um, and yeah, I've done a little bit of work, uh, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. Um, well, kind of, sorta. I mean, I, I mean, I just built another building. That's all. That's all I did. Just one more, you know. It's not even done fully, but I have some stuff to show you. We are working on that, and uh, I think that's going to be good. As you can see, got some plans, got some plans. Also, look at this glorious wall of shulker boxes. I spent so much time trying to find villagers off camera. I am like 90, 90 miles 90 90 miles of flying just to find villagers also we have quite a few emeralds <laughs> from trading uh we also have these this is uh these are seeds this is all sugarcane okay well it was filled with sugarcane now it's not and this is our villager trading like i would just fill this up and go and trade with farmers i've got quite a few um farmers that are really good um and so those are all boxed up and safe and i claimed them um and so we can do something with that i really wanted to find a villager but we may i have never made a villager breeder before like never before made it um and i may need like maybe we could work with somebody on the waystone to make a villager breeder to sell mending books and then they can split the profit of the mending books that might be a good idea because i don't feel like making the farm but i can i don't know 
But at that point, it's not my mending builder. I don't know. I may look into it. I'm not very technical, though. So let's look at this instead, because I'm much more about this. So this is uh, pretty much the same as this guy, just shorter. Uh, I decided to make it shorter because of two reasons. Uh, one, uh, because of those, they were going to be um, kissing, and we did not. We don't need no sea drakes kissing. We don't need that in our lives. Uh, also, it just made more sense. I felt um, made a, got a little interest going on. So it's gonna. This is gonna be interesting. I don't know what this is gonna be like. Uh, I have a picture that I will pull up when we start building. Uh, but first, let's go over it. Go over what I'm gonna be telling you about here in a second. So this build is this tall, and it's the very exactly the same on the bottom. Exactly the same. Uh, except for the sides. This side um, is like this. It's got these here and here. Um, and this is different because this one ha just goes up like this. And so that's kind of how each of these will change. They'll all be very similar in style, but the, like the sides on this are different than this. There's no windows on the sides. All the windows are on the front and the back. Uh, well, I haven't done the back quite yet, but this is what the front looks like. Um, there's no Juliet deck or anything, but it still looks like this style, and I think that's really nice. Um, and the thing that I wanted to do, the reason why I've made this one shorter, actually, is because I wanted this, that area, um, to be down here so that this can connect to this with a bridge. So we're going to have a suspension bridge that comes out and goes all the way across to this area. And I think that's going to be really, really cool. Also, I have put this in. Um, this little mast sort of thing. That's the idea I, I thought was that this would represent kind of like a repurposed mast of a ship. And so we're going to have it here. I'm playing with the idea of extending this out, making it, trying to make it more like the bow of a ship, but I don't think I'm going to do it on this one. I think that will be a little hard for this one. Um, so probably going to be like, uh, the, what this one's like, um, because because this one has this, this will be open, um, and that's where how you'll get onto the bridge. Um, but I plan to make this like a little aquarium sort of thing. You can um, still plant some some the seagrass and all that stuff, um, and so you can make it kind of lively looking. And I think that'll be nice. So. This is what the top area will be like. You'll come in from the floor somehow. I think I might do a ladder to get up to this level. Uh, but I thought this was interesting. And let's uh, sleep. Ooh. Um, and so that's that's kind of what I've been doing off camera. I also have been planning out this next build that we're going to jump into here in a sec. Uh, it's going to be a blacksmith. And it's going to be one story tall. Um and it's going to be a long building instead of a tall building. So that's it's going to be like one story and then this type of roof on top. And I've gone ahead and built up the interior wall just because it's really not that hard to follow. But first, actually, yeah, let me get let's build that bridge. I want to build the bridge so you can see the bridge concept. And then we can actually tear this down probably to be able to get a good look at what in the world um we're going to be doing so let me get that image up and then we'll begin building all right so it's not terribly hard it's actually pretty easy what you want to start out doing is so you've got this stair here and what we're going to do is we're going to plop a stair like that we may change that and make it like not as not that um and so we're going to do that and then we need our trap doors on hand and then you put a trap door down and then you put a stair one level below that. And this is where it's going to get tricky because we're building in the air like this. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, but that's okay. We can deal with this. I think this will work. Uh, this level will be a good level to build at. Uh, we can do that. And so this goes like that. And then uh, this won't. that won't work like that. Uh, this needs to be that and then okay that's that's gone forever so we're gonna go like that and that's how that will go so you can see the arch that's gonna be happening we have stairs and it's gonna be arching down like this 
And so then this will be a trap door and then it should be another trap door. I'm gonna actually do it from the other side just because I am not sure uh, how this lines up exactly. Let's see if we can get out there, boom. All right, so there we go. There's the suspension bridge, quote unquote. Uh, and then what we do to make it a little safer is we're going to have some of these fences going along and the interesting thing is it's not necessarily like totally totally safe so it comes out to here i believe it comes out three one two three and then okay we need to get rid of this and then it'll go down and it'll go down here i believe it goes down right here it goes down like that so then you've got this you can't walk over that and then you've got this, and it just goes all the way across to right here. So one, two, three, and then this goes like that. So then you've got this little guardrail that you can walk across and you won't actually walk off. And I think that's really, really uh, nice and that's pretty essential so you don't uh, <clears throat> die. Yeah, that's, so imagine little bridges like this going all the way across um, all these different builds and what I'm imagining is this area being a big row of buildings and they're all interconnected with these little bridges and stuff and I think that could be a really it make for a really interesting type of town this one will not have a bridge I don't believe um, it could I don't know uh, but I don't think it will i think this one will be the blacksmith it'll be right smack dab in front of this is exact this is how big the entrance is going to be to this building and this is going to be a monster in itself to build we are not we do not have the resources right now to build this we could start it but we do not have the resources to build it let's begin in on this guy so let's get our stairs let's get our walls i don't think we're going to need really anything else we can get these guys too if we want don't need those, but eat ourselves up a title. All right. So we're going to do very much, very similar to what this one is. And I think it's what's going to be interesting. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And then here and here. And this one, you do, do. And this will be a little tricky. So let's start with this. It's all very, very similar to what we've done over there. Um, but this one, uh, we're going to need some of that spruce stair action, actually, because we uh, let's grab a few more. We've got a few more windows to work out. And this this build definitely uses quite a few pieces of wood. Let me tell you. All right. One, two, two tall window. And then this can go like that. Oops. I like that. And this will be interesting. Maybe what we can do is an upside down stair. Maybe that'd be interesting. Is it getting dark already? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Not good. But this will go like this. We can have something like that. Oh, that can be a window. Yeah, we'll put a trap door and make that a little window. I think that's good. And then we can real quickly, this is a window, this is a window. No need for these. All right, let's sleep. The, I think let's, we'll get this wall done. And then just to give you guys a little bit of a refresh on how to do this style. It's very, very, it's pretty repetitive, um, but it's very simple. And it's really, it looks super detailed, but it's really pretty straightforward, honestly. It actually is really straightforward. It's just a whole butt ton of stairs to give you a whole bunch of depth. So that's what the bottom's gonna look like of the blacksmith. They are a very, um, I don't wanna say they're like open in terms of, like they, there's a lot of windows, but there's hardly any space to see in. Lots of windows, but they're all pretty blocked off. Um, so it's a very guarded town. Um, and this is what I, let's work on this. This is I think where the interest is. Um, this is what is going to be the um, forge is what I want to go for. And I don't actually think we uh, we have fire tick off on this I, this 
server, I believe. Do we have anything in here? Okay, we have shears. Um, also, look how many freaking pickaxes we have. We have three, four pickaxes, and then there's two more in there because one has, one has Curse of Vanishing. Um, can you use Curse of Vanishing to repair a pickaxe and not keep the Curse of Vanishing? Uh, I was wondering that. I thought that would be interesting. Also, I have... So I tell me if this is a good villager trade. I don't know. I have a villager that will give an infinity book for five emeralds. Is that a good trade? Because that's like a book and five emeralds. That seems like a really, really good trade. But I don't do villager trading ever. So I don't really know. Um, Let's see here. Hmm. How to start. Let me think for a second and then come back with you when I have a full on plan. Also, guys, I wanted to show you uh, we have a new friend and he's a uh, Yes, there he is. I named him Gerald. And Gerald is our skeleton horse. I believe Fanny Bird. Yep, he's still here. He moved up there. He got stuck right here, and then I, I needed to sleep. Um, and yeah, now he's up there, and Gerald has moved in down here, and I'm really excited to have Gerald. Uh, you can ride skeleton horses underwater, and I think it's pretty fantastic. They don't die because they're undead, and they don't drown. So that's fun. Um, I learned that from watching Green's Hermitcraft, and that's really fun. Let's ooh, let's check and see if we have any. I don't don't think we have any um, diamonds from the library. Also, uh, any of you fellow server mates of mine, uh, feel free to take any of the cactus and grows. Just replant it when you're done. I'm not ter like using it, but uh, wow! All right, oh, I wasn't expecting to actually have purchases made. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Boy, flying is so much nicer than having to swim across that way. And look how great this area looks. I just think it looks so cool. Ooh, yeah, I just think it looks really, really cool. It's going to look so cool to be able to just like fly down. Oh, wow. The lag to fly down this row of like really tall buildings and stuff. I think that's going to be really cool. All right. So I have an idea. I don't know what this stone's doing here, but well, well, we'll have to extend this out a little bit. But I have an idea now, and I think it's going to be good. Um, let's first get, I have a tiny amount, tiny amount of cracked brick. Also, I don't need this in my inventory. And I think I have a pretty good idea as to what to do. And this is going to be interesting. This is also pre-planned just because of how intricate these builds are in terms of exact detail. I do have to plan them out a little bit more than I actually would like, but this is going to be a little bit on the fly as well, just because I enjoy doing that. And then let's get... Maybe a wall will go there. I'm already changing it up a little bit. I think maybe some walls would go better here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll do. And then we could have something like that there. Maybe. I don't know. Um, these here. And then I know I want a stair here and here. And then this will be like that. So this will stick out that far, I believe. Should stick out that far. Actually, no. I want it to stick out one more. I think that'll be good yeah that's yeah we want it to stick out one more um and then this can go like that and then to give this a little bit of interesting shape we're gonna have like this and so what we're going for is a big old nasty forge and i think the way we're gonna go about doing that is we're gonna make it like you play skyrim before and you know the uh the oh what's it called what's the skyrim forge called the sky forge how it's like huge yeah i think we're gonna go for something a little bit sky forgey in terms of how big it is um because i think like these bottom areas i think that will make a lot of sense it'll go really well with this area too um and it'll just it, it'll blend in almost 
it's not going to like totally blend in, but it'll blend in almost, almost blend in. Um, and then let's put a slabby slabby there. And I think that'll be good. What else? Maybe some walls here will actually do do well, potentially. Or no, let's put them here. And actually, because I think I feel like this should have a guard of some sort. I don't feel like we want uh, people to be able to just like walk on up to it and <laughs> wreck themselves on the fire. So let's do that. And then we can make this. Um, let's get some iron bars in here. Then we can do something like this and that. And then I have an idea. I don't know if this will look very good, but I was thinking, all right, let's for, for the realness sake of things, let's make this all stone just down here. Not like all of it. <laughs> Don't feel like making all of it stone. Okay, we gotta get down there. And then we'll make that stone, that, that, that. We'll all be stone. And then I wanted, I think having some lava that's flowing could look really cool. Um, it adds like just a tiny amount of movement. And I think that's neat. Now we, you, you can walk into there, but if you walk into there, I mean, come on. Don't walk into there. That's not good. So I don't really know exactly what to do. I keep playing with this idea, and I'm not... I don't know. I don't know what I want exactly. I feel like this needs, like, a... Uh, like, a, like, stair, slat, or stair, stair, stair. Something like that. That might help it a little bit. That might have done what I wanted it to do. Maybe. Maybe we could do that. Makes it just a tiny bit rounder. I don't know. I think I figured it out, guys. So I decided I extended this portion out just by one block. And I think that has really, really helped matters. Maybe this? No. Don't think that actually helps. I think this is good. Like, I, I, I like what this looks like. It gets, I think, the point. Once we get an anvil out here, do we have one? We have one in here. We can, do we? Somewhere. Or is it in here? Yeah, it's right here. It's cracked, but that's okay. Uh, we can put it like that, or do we want it right like that? All right, guys, so I have done uh, quite a bit of work. Uh, Emma called me during that last clip, and it kind of led to a long conversation because she's actually, uh, when this video releases, she'll be in the middle of taking her OAT, which is like the MCAT for optometrists. And so, yeah, um, I just got, I just didn't talk to her and did some work on our little forge thing that we'd had going and i also made a roof which we'll look at in just a sec i want to show this area first i really like how this has turned out so like this is what the forge is like it's built into the building and stuff like we'd shown uh ended up flipping the anvil so it was like that and this is what it lo this looks like with fire i think the fire really adds quite a bit um, and I, I'm really happy with how this little forge area looks. Uh, and then these are like the my most favorite. Let's make sure there's no creepers. Yeah. So this is like little cooling stations for like your weapon. I thought that was so cool. Like with stairs and stuff, it's so like you could have little, little cooling areas. And I think that's really cool. Uh, one last thing I want to show you uh, before we end off the episode is the roof. So I've been trying something, experimenting with how the roof is done and i don't know how i like it i it's a different roof it's like that style but it only juts out on one end and the reason for that is because i tried to make this back end look more like the bottom of a boat if that made sense like it it actually would be like the back end of a ship 
Now, it's a little hard to work with on this scale, um, and I think that's where it kind of draws back a bit. And so it's a little difficult to work with. Um, but you can kind of see, like, this is the shape of the ship and how it would be. And so I was trying to go with that, and I wanted to gauge your guys' opinion on that before I finished it up. Um, because we can definitely go back to this style. Um, I just wanted to try this out because I thought this was interesting. But yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Are really liking this area um, and think and uh, like, yeah, just give me your feedback. What are some things that you would like to see um, in this area? Because we, we, we have a lot of buildings to fill out and I would love to represent some of the ideas that you guys have. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you did enjoy and you liked the video, feel free to leave a like in real life if you uh, are enjoying what I'm building and the theme that we've got going here and the series and everything. Feel free to subscribe, join the little family we've got going here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.